Hi, Jeff. This is Michelle. I spoke with you on the phone earlier today, and as mentioned, here's just a quick video showcasing um, what Google looks for and how to rank your website and get new leads, as well as discuss your overall online progress. So to start, I do have a background with digital marketing, and I can tell you that Google looks at three aspects when ranking different websites on their Google platform. So number one, and probably the most important aspect, is going to be content. And content is anywhere that actual text shows up on your website. So we have a little here, a little here, here. You kind of have little bits and pieces scattered throughout, but overall not a ton of content. So let me tell you why content is so important, as well as give you a quick example, okay? Anytime you do a basic Google search for anything specific, Wikipedia is always your number one search result. Why is that? Well, it's because it has so much content. So every few weeks, Google does a sweep of the internet, finds content-rich sites, and naturally starts moving them up the rankings. So from doing some research on competition, as well as knowing how much Google likes content, I'm going to suggest that you have between 1,000 and 1,500 words of content on your homepage alone. This is going to both allow you to be found by Google on a Google search, as well as allow you to beat out your competition and rank higher for content alone. With that said, we typically recommend that every service page that you offer have anywhere between uh, 750 to 1,000 words of content. This as well does two things for us. One, by adding that much content to every page, you're adding tons of content to your site, right? And again, Google loves content, so the more content you have, the easier and quicker it's going to be for Google to just move and rank your site higher and higher. As well as, it allows us to put appropriate keywords in the content of your website, allowing you to rank for those keywords when they're searched for in your area. So what is a keyword? A keyword is anything that people type into the Google search bar. So having carpet cleaning Charlotte and C somewhere in your content and text on your site, on your carpet cleaning uh, page, would allow you to be found for um, those search results when those are being searched in your area. So this here is Arifs, and it just brings me to an overall breakdown of how you're doing on the internet today. And as you can see, we're only getting about three people coming to our website every month, partially because of the keywords that we're ranking for. So as you see, Southern Comfort Cleaning, you're on page one, but beyond that, you're on page um, two and beyond for all the other keywords that you're ranking for. So again, in this day and age, people just aren't digging and searching much beyond page one. So you're really missing out on getting seen uh, for a lot of keywords. So definitely put more keywords into the context in your website, and that's going to direct a lot of traffic back to you. Next, let's look at these two numbers here. This UR is directly related to citations, and I see that you have a bunch of citations, or your citation UR wouldn't be so high, but from the get-go, these top three get the most results, and business just based on visibility of loan. So how do we get to the top of this GMB? Through adding more citations. So anywhere your business name, address, and phone number show up in some sort of online directory, that's what we're looking for. The more directories you add yourself to, the higher up this ranking they're going to go. And I'll tell you why that's important as well. Next, let's look at this DR. DR is directly related to backlinks and citations. And a backlink is anywhere that your business's website is linkable and clickable on another business's website. So think Angie's List or HomeAdvisor.com. Getting a good, trusted referring domain to host your backlink is going to actually throw a lot of their influence from all the traffic they're getting back to your website. So the more influence you have pointing back to you, this DR number is going to go up. As well as not all backlinks are created equal. As you can see, of the 53 backlinks you have, only about half actually give you a clickable link. The others are kind of dead and are watering down a lot of the influence that they're sending you, which is why your DR number is not very high, despite having a lot of backlinks. So again, getting good quality, trusted backlinks are going to really help drive this DR number up.
People who are ranking high and getting a lot of business in your area have both a high DR and a high UR number, high number of keywords that they're ranking for, allowing them to get found on multiple searches, which is also driving more people and traffic to their website. Well, that's all the information I have for you today. I hope you found this information um, helpful and useful. It's not too much trouble. Send me a quick email. Tell me what you thought about this video. But for now, that's all I have, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.